Where you position your light actually does matter a great deal in your next virtual meeting, such as a Teams or a Zoom meeting. For example, this one's directly in front of me and about a foot higher than my eye level. And you'll notice there's no shadows on my nose or from my eyes or my eyelids. It's literally just straight on in front of me. And this is an okay look. I don't prefer this look, but some people like this look and, and it's great if that's what you're into. I don't like this look. I like a more dramatic feel. So let's look at what a light looks like if it's at a 45 degree angle. So this is a light at a 45 degree angle. Do you notice the difference in shadowing? You see the shadows from my nose bridge and, and the shadows on the dark side of my face. This is kind of a cinematic feel, and this is a more dramatic feel, and I actually like this feel more when I'm creating content or in a meeting. And by the way, this is the only light that's on in my studio. I am not using any backfill or rim lights or hair lights. This is just one light. So now let's add the key light directly in front of me and then the 45 degree light to make some of those shadows go away and see if you like that. So this is with the front light on and then also a 45 degree, what we call a fill light. Now, do you see the difference? It's taken some of those shadows away from my face. I actually love this look and I use it all the time in some of my Zoom and Teams calls. But my favorite look is coming up, my 45 degree angle light with what they call a hair light or a trim light behind me to kind of create this cinematic feel uh, with some depth. I'm going to try that next. So this is the lighting position that I most often use. What I'm doing is I have a 45 degree key light and then exactly opposite, I have what we call a hair or a trim light. And you can see that it's on because kind of my hair is glowing a little bit and there's this shadowy creation of, of cinematic feel behind me. This is my favorite look. So this is actually using three lights. This is a very professional setup. I literally have one light in front of me as my key light. I have one light at a 45 degree angle for my fill light to take away those shadows. And then opposite of that, I have that hair or trim light showcasing that cinematic effect or depth of field. This creates probably the most overall professional look, but also it creates a problem with the budget because you need three different lights. So a couple of other tricks I do with my lighting, I get the light as absolutely close as possible to my face without distracting from the camera view. And then I crank it down to its absolute lowest setting until I'm happy with it. So those are two of the things I always do when I'm filming professional content is I get those lights as close as possible and I turn it down as low as possible on the settings. I don't want me to be washed out. I'd rather it be darker than brighter, actually. I also always start my color balance at 5,000 and adjust from there. 5,000 is really the, the premier Kelvin level that looks exactly kind of like daylight. So if you want the more of a warmth, go lower. If you want brighter, go higher. So those are some of the tricks I use when I'm creating content for LinkedIn or YouTube. Also, the same tricks apply to when you're in a virtual meeting like Zoom and or Teams. I'm Patrick Kelly, the Tattoo Nerd.